Page 48, problem number 13 reads, use the graph of f, or use the graph of the function, to sketch each graph. Okay, so we're given a graph of a function. We don't know what that function is. But we have to graph these seven additional graphs based on our original graph. Let's take a look at this first one. y equals f of x plus 2. This plus 2 at the end, what that's going to do to our graphs, that's going to shift our graph two units up. Anytime any unit is added or subtracted to the end of a function, it's going to give us a vertical shift. So I can take every point on that original function and move it two units up, like so. So I can plot those points. And then we can connect those points, and our new sketch should look the same as the original. Our second graph here. We'll do this one in blue. Y equals negative f of x. The key here is that negative in front. Now the negative in front of our function, what that's going to do is give us a vertical flip. So we're going to flip our original function across the x-axis. So any point that's below the x-axis is now going to be above the x-axis. This point here is right on the x-axis, so it's not going to change. Any point that was above the x-axis will now be below the x-axis. And likewise, this fourth point. Once again, we can connect those points to get a sketch of our new function. Our third graph, y equals f of x minus 2. Now, adding or subtracting some number in parentheses will give us something a little different from this first sketch. If we add or subtract a number at the end of our function, we'll get a vertical shift. And you're subtracting a number within our function to our x itself will give us a horizontal shift. Now, careful with this. Subtracting 2, it would appear that we would shift left 2. Actually, we're going to shift to the right 2. So we're shifting in the opposite direction as our sign. So every point in our original function, we're going to shift to the right 2 units. So there's our four points. And if I connect those points, I have a graph of our new function, y equals f of x minus 2. Our fourth function, same idea here. Now we're graphing f of x plus 3. Well, the one above, we shifted 2 to the right. This one, we're going to shift 3 to the left. So taking every point, we will shift them 3 units to the left. And once I get those four points, we can once again connect those points and sketch our graph. Now, the shape of all these graphs is the same. Notice, as soon as we start to multiply by some number other than 1 or negative 1, our shape is going to be stretched or shrunk either vertically or horizontally. Let's take a look at this next one. y equals 2 times f of x, 2 times our function. So it's like saying our y value is going to be 2 times what the original y values were. So that's going to give us a vertical stretch. Our new points are going to be two times bigger or two times as far away from the x-axis as our original points. So this point was one unit below the x-axis. The new point is going to be two units below. This one's going to stay right on the x-axis. This one was one above. The next one's going to be two above the x-axis. This one was two above. It's now going to be four above the x-axis. Notice all the other graphs we've made so far, the shape of the graph has been the same. Anytime we multiply by a number like 2 in this case, it's going to change the shape of our graph. Okay, our next graph, y equals f of negative x. Remember back here when I had y equals negative f of x, that flipped our graph across the x-axis. This is going to flip our graph across the y-axis. So taking our original graph, Let's flip all those points. Our first point's right on the y-axis, so that won't change. Our second point will be flipped across the y-axis. Third point, we'll flip that across the y-axis. And our fourth point is going to get into our work over here. And once again, we'll connect these points. The same basic shape flipped across the y-axis. OK. Last graph, y equals f of 1 half x. Now, on this graph up here, when I multiply by a number outside my function, what that will do is that'll stretch or shrink that graph. A number bigger than 1 will stretch the graph. A number smaller than 1 or between 0 and 1 will shrink the graph. 
In this case, it's just the opposite. Kind of like up here, when I added or subtracted a number in the parentheses, I did the opposite. So when I had f of x minus 2, we went to the right 2. Here, f of 1 half x. This is going to stretch or shrink, shrink our graph horizontally. But instead of making it half as big, it's actually going to be twice as big. So horizontal stretch. First of all, my first point will just stay right where it is because it's on the y-axis. Our second point, instead of being 1 comma 0, it's going to be at 2 comma 0. Third, instead of at 3 comma 1, this point's going to be at 6 comma 1. Fourth, instead of at 4 comma 2, this one's going to be way over here at 8 comma 2. And my graph of that's going to look like this.